Hello dosto welcome and welcome back to grow med in this video we will look at the must do topic from the microbiology for the fmge so this is a list of the topics from which questions are repeatedly asked and it becomes easier if you make a list and then start studying and even you will get an idea that which topic you must concentrate more and from which topic questions are asked repeatedly okay so let's start the video uh, so questions are asked from the general microbiology that is the bacterial growth curve so what you must learn from this is the phases of the growth curve the bacterial that is the lag phase log phase stationary and the decline phase and in which phase what things happen like for example in the lag phase there will be increase in the metabolism increase in the size and enzymes and in the log phase there will be division and stationary phase production of the toxin and the sporulation and decline means the cell will start to die okay so image based question can be asked giving this curve this graph and they can ask mark the phase or for example if this is the spore stationary phase okay stationary phase and they can mark this and ask what happens in this phase that is the sporulation and the generation of the toxin then moving on to the sterilization methods so sterilization so it is a process of disinfection and it can be done by uh, two methods the physical method and the chemical method so physical is by using the heat or dry moist then uh, and also by using the radiation so in the physical uh, method we will be using some instruments like the hot air oven then hot sorry autoclave then uh, insemination okay so questions are asked on this that uh, at what temperature the sterilization is done then what all contents are done like in hot hair we will be giving the glass wares then syringes then cotton swab and and in the autoclave the temperature is the 121 degree celsius maintained and it is done for the 15 minutes and the contents which are sterilized in the autoclave these are the apron then the sutures then the media the culture media is all and also a very important question which you must learn is the controls used okay so there are various controls used like for example for autoclave it is the bacillus the stea thermophilicus okay and likewise for the hotter oven it is the bacillus subtilis so repeatedly these questions are asked on the control so it becomes a five star topic and you must learn the control and the method so the next topic as we have already discussed about the hotter oven and the autoclave then in the chemical it is usually by using the chemicals like for example the alcohol then the aldehyde then phenol and another famous question asked from this is the most potent disinfectant which is the 1% sodium hypochlorite so this is a previous year question and it is asked multiple times then the other chemicals used are the uh, glutaraldehyde this glutaraldehyde is usually used to disinfect the scopes like for example the endoscope the bronchoscope so this is also an previous year question glutaraldehyde is used to disinfect which of the following and you need to choose which of the uh, correct answer given in it like uh, bronchoscope or endoscope whichever is given then another very important topic is the food poisoning as questions are asked on the food poisoning a clinical case kind of questions are asked like uh, there are two important organisms causing food poisoning one is the staph aureus and another one is the bacillus cereus so this is most commonly associated with the milk items and this one associated with the chinese food so in the question the things can be described like there was a party and uh, and people who ate cake in the party they presented with food poisoning so which of the following will be the causative organism so it will be the staph aureus and also incubation period also plays an important role because for bacillus and for aureus it is approximately 1 to 6 hours and if the incubation period is more than 6 hours and if there is something uh, described in the question like the pickle or the canned food then you must think in terms of the botulinum toxin okay and the if it is seafood if the features like having fish or seafood and after that develops itching and all is described in the case then you need to think in terms of vibrio parahemolyticus so this question was asked in the july 2023 exam so these were some points which you must know from the food poisoning now moving on to the bacteriology so from the bacteriology you must read uh, regarding the staph 
pilococcus aureus and the coagulase negative so questions are asked on the aureus like the virulence factor that is uh, there are the protein a which act as a virulent factor then the hemolysins alpha beta gamma and the questions on the enterotoxin the enterotoxin a it causes food poisoning as we have just discussed here that staph a aureus causes food poisoning so the causative organism is the enterotoxin a and then the enterotoxin f it causes toxic shock syndrome and also questions are asked on the diseases caused by the staph aureus uh, as you all know that the staph aureus is the most uh, common organism causing most of the diseases like soft tissue infection skin infection osteomyelitis then it causes pneumonia acute endocarditis infective arthritis sepsis okay so it is involved in most of the infections okay then moving on streptococcus so before learning all these things there's a basic thing which you must uh, read that is the gram positive and the gram negative so the gram positive again classified into the bacilli and the cocci so these both are cocci the staphylococcus and the streptococcus these are the cocci which presents like this and the bacillus means they are rod shaped so you must uh, also learn the classification which are gram positive which are gram negative and which are bacillus and which are cocci because if a clinical case is given then they will be describing that a gram positive diplococci or a gram positive bacillus is visible under the microscope and it is causing so and so disease uh, and they will also be given some hints like it will be cultured media or it is grown on this cultured media so what is the organism so all these things will help you to come to know the answer and to make the diagnosis then in the streptococcus you need to look at the classification as it is classified into the alpha hemolysis then the beta hemolysis and the gamma hemolysis the examples of the streptococcus pneumonia viridians pyogenes and agalactia so questions are asked on the diseases caused by them like for example pneumonia it causes pneumonia and it is a diplococci and it is a lancelot shape it shows quilling reaction and and another very famous question is that on the blood or the chocolate agar uh, carom coin appearance is seen which are called as the drought man appearance okay so image based question is also asked on this the image will be given and ask you that this finding is seen in which of the following then the viridians it causes subacute bacterial endocarditis and it is present in chains like this then moving on nizeria so it is of two types classified into the two types meningococci and the conococci so meningococci it is lens shaped so it meningococci it is the lens shaped and the gonococci it is the shape of the kidney whereas this is capsulated and this is not capsulated so question are asked on its culture media and both these are cultured on the thayer martin medium and how do we differentiate between the two because both are the nizeria there is one differentiating factor that is the meningococci it ferments maltose whereas gonococci it only ferments glucose so you can remember it by gonococci g and g glucose whereas uh, meningococci it ferments both m so maltose as well as glucose so questions are also asked on its uh, very dangerous complications that is uh, the meningococci it causes bilateral adrenal hemorrhage which is called as water haut friedrichsen syndrome and the gonococci it causes ophthalmia neonatorum and fick huge cutis syndrome which is the perihepatitis then moving on to the cornibacter and diphtheria it is a bacilli gram positive bacilli and questions are asked on its stains so it is it stains on the ponder albert and mesens these stains are used to, to stain it and these give the green color and it will be like looking like this bipolar granule so famous question asked from this is that image based question will be given and uh, they will ask you to identify it and something these will be given in the option like chinese letter pattern or cuneiform arrangement of the granules then this cornibacterium diphtheria it causes bull's necks which is the pathognomic of this condition so image based question also can be asked on this bull's neck giving a image of the child and the swelling there will be swelling in the neck and ask you the diagnosis then questions are also asked on the culture media so you need to look at the culture medias there are enriched and selective so enriched media is the lss and whenever you see in the question lls that is loveless serum slope then you need to think in terms of the cornibacterium diphtheriae 
this diphtheria it is also called as the ls plebs lofflers bacillus then the next topic the bacillus anthracis so in this you need to learn about the types of the bacillus anthracis like the cutaneous pulmonary intestinal uh, the cutaneous it causes hyde porter's disease which is also called as the malignant pustule and an image based question is asked from this and in the question there will be given a hint a piece of a cake like the fish the patient he was carrying animals on his neck so you can come to know that by this there was infection to him from the animal then another type is the pulmonary type and it is used as a bioterrorism bioterrorism agent and it causes wool sorter's disease and the intestinal type the intestinal type it causes enteritis if uncooked meat is consumed this bacillus anthracis it gives different appearance in different media like for example in the gram staining it will give bamboo stick appearance or box car appearance like this the appearance would be like this okay and if it is in agar then it gives a medusa head appearance like this or uh, something like this medusa head okay so it will be spread like this and in the gelatin liquefaction inverted for tree so it will be done in a tube and in the test tube uh, inverted for tree kind of appearance is seen so this bacillus anthracis is also a repeat question and almost every year a question is asked from this bacillus anthracis then now moving on to the clostridium species so questions are asked on this organism the tetanai its uh, structure how does it look then questions are asked on its spores and the diseases like for example perpherengens it is very famous for causing the gas gangrene and the botulinum it causes botulinism uh, that is a neurotoxin descending flaccid paralysis and if it is an enterotoxin then it causes food poisoning as we had already discussed earlier and the history can be given that it will be the canned food for the food poisoning so these were some points which you must read from the clostridium so the questions are asked also on the culture media so you need to look at the culture medias also then moving on a lactose fermenter these organisms which ferment the lactose the e coli and the klebsiella so the e coli it causes urinary tract infections diarrhea and meningitis and for causing diarrhea there are various toxins like the toxin pathogenic epec then the toxicogenic etec the invasive eiec okay so these are some uh, toxins which are released by the e coli examples there are another two the hemorrhagic and the aggressive so you need to look at what kind of diarrhea it causes and the klebsiella species uh, examples are the pneumonia then rhinoscleromatosis granulomatosis so you need to look at the diseases and the species classification of the species then moving on to the vibrio cholera so questions are asked on its toxins its motility then then the culture medias on which media it is cultured like the alkaline se peptone water alkaline peptone water but the best is the selected that is the tcbs and for the transport we will be using the vr media okay so these were some important organisms which you must cover from the bacteriology then moving on to the fungi so questions are asked on this fungi at least one question comes in each paper so it is a must 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 do topic so the fungi these are classified into the plastomycosis then histoplasma sporothrix parapocytomycosis so questions are asked on its structure like for example the the blastomycosis it looks like this figure of eight appearance the paracocytomycosis it looks like a mickey mouse appearance something like this or also called as the pilot or the marnier wheel and you need to also look at the diseases caused by them like the blastomycosis causes north american blastomycosis then histoplasma causes ohio or the darling disease and these features are usually similar to the tb as it also causes granuloma then the sporothrix a uh, famous question asked from sporothrix is the is that it causes rose gardner's disease uh, which is involvement of the lymph and the skin lymphocutaneous involvement and there are rosettes of conidia seen in it okay so these were some points which you must read from the dimorphic fungi then moving on to the aspergillus so aspergillus present in the three forms the fumigates flavus and the niger so what you need to remember from this is what kind of diseases it causes like the fumigates it causes allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis the flavus causes hepatocellular carcinoma because it has a releases a toxin aflatoxin then niger it causes black crust in the ear and in the nose okay and also questions are asked image based questions are asked on its culture how does it look so the fumigates so smoky green color then flavus yellow green and the niger black color 
then mucormycosis i think most of you might have already heard about this mucormycosis and the question usually the clinical case is asked describing a feature of uh, like the patient is having diabetes mellitus or he is having covid 19 and he develops blackish discharge from the nose or from the and near the eyes there will be blackish blackening present so what is the diagnosis it is the mucormycosis so questions can also be asked image based question giving this mycormycosis and how will you identify it there will be branching perpendicular and the hyphae they are the accepted hyphae then moving on to chromoblastomycosis this is also a five star topic because every year a question is asked on this chromoblastomycosis and it is very easy actually uh, the chromo means it is colored and it is brown color usually and blastomycosis mycosis means it is a fungi okay so it is also known as verrucococcus dermatitis and the famous famous question asked from this is the copper penny bodies are seen which are also called as the sclerotic bodies image based question can also be asked and this is most commonly seen in the forest worker then moving on to another very important topic the dermatophytes so questions are also asked repeatedly on this so image based question can be asked and this is usually the three types trichophyton epidermophyton and microsporum so questions are asked on its shape like the trichophyton it is the shape of the pencil shape the mic macroconidia and also questions are asked on the involvement like dermatophytes they usually involve the skin right we can come to know here and which organism affects which like the trichophyton it affects all the three skin hair nail the epidermophyton it affects the skin and the hair and the microsporum sorry the epidermophyton skin and nail and this one skin and hair and questions are asked on its microconidia microconidia so you need to look at all the points then moving on uh, questions are asked on the staining the gram staining then sudden staining india ink staining india ink the famous question the cryptococcus so it will be stained the background will be black and the cryptococcus will be white in color and image based questions are also asked on this so gram staining uh, the questions are asked on the methods the steps like first we will be putting the crystal violet then iodine and then alcohol then for zn staining also it is the same uh, the questions are asked on the steps and also questions are asked which organism is which <clears throat> like gram staining it is classified into the positive and the negative right so which organisms are gram positive and which organisms are gram negative you need to look at those points also and which organisms are stained with the zn staining you need to look at those points also then moving on questions are asked on the motility of the organisms like as we have discussed that the vibrio coliae its motility then the proteus it shows swarming motility then uh, the giardia it shows falling leaf motility so the organisms and the type of motility you need to look at all those things then moving on to the culture medias so there are various types of culture medias for different different organisms so like for example there is mcconkey agar and it is usually used for the e coli and the klebsiella so questions can be asked on the content of this mcconkey agar and and the findings which we can see in the mcconkey agar like for another example the mannitol salt agar which is used for the staph aureus what changes can be seen and image based questions are asked so do look at the images also of the culture medias and also for one organism there can be more than one uh, culture media like the culture medias they are classified into the nutrient then the enriched media then the selective media so you need to look at all those things then moving on to the parasites from the parasites questions are usually asked clinical case kind of questions are asked and famous questions asked are the egg parasite egg so image based question can be asked and questions asked clinical case kind of questions asked like the clinical features will be described of the disease and they will ask which organism is causing this disease then questions are asked on the tinea the tinea saginata and the tinea solium so you need to look at the differentiating factors and also which organism causes which disease then moving on to viruses so questions are asked uh, on the classification of the viruses which are the dna virus and which are the rna virus and also the diseases caused by the virus the hsv the herpes simplex virus it causes which all disease and its types so there are one two and three so the one it causes encephalitis and the cutaneous infection the two it causes infections mainly in the genital area and the hsv uh, HHV3 it is the zoster varicella zoster and it causes chicken pox so you need to read the points regarding the investigation of choice the clinical features and the treatment so the, for the treatment we will be usually using the antiviral drugs and you need to look at the antiviral drugs which drug is used to treat which infection 
then the various other viruses are the cmv cytomegalovirus then the epstein barr virus so the classification you need to look at because this cmv it is also a herpes virus which is the herpes 5 and the epstein barr it is the hhv 4 then the other viruses like the parvovirus it causes causes slack cheek appearance and which is called as erythema infectiosum then questions are asked on the rabies virus its toxins and all then polio virus the types of the polio virus the one two three and the vaccine polio virus vaccine then coxsackie virus so you need to look at mostly the viruses the classification and the disease which it causes so questions are usually asked on the diseases and not much questions about the viruses then image based questions are asked on the structure of the hiv influenza and the ebola so do look at the images of the viruses also so images you need to look at the virus image then the culture then bacteriology the images of the bacteria because image based questions can also be asked from the microbiology so that's it in this video guys i hope this video will be useful for you guys we have discussed about the important topics which you must read and also the type of questions asked from the each topic if you're new to GrowMed, subscribe to GrowMed, like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.